Hey my loves, it's your girl Miss Mini XXA here. My babies, I am so glad to be back. I hope everybody had a wonderful time. Thank you for everybody who's still been supporting me. Um, we're doing so many wonderful things to try to um, expand and make the brand a lot better. And I'm thankful for all the support you're giving me. Um, the reason why I was going, I won't talk about that in this video, is because of the fact that I had to, I had to stop and fall back and recharge because I was having a deja vu moment. And what I mean by deja vu, every time I hear deja vu, I think of Beyonce, deja vu. Deja vu. Well, anyways, um, I was having a deja vu moment from last summer because, as you know, the last week or so, we've had like three or four trans women of color murder. And it took me back to, I think it was last July, when I believe within a two-week span, there were like six black trans women murdered. And I was just feeling a... It, it, it wasn't that I was like feeling self-conscious about myself. It just, I was just feeling like, God, I'm just so tired of seeing my sisters um, and even my non-binary non -binary, um, pe people. Just, just, I'm sorry. I'm just so sick and tired of seeing black trans women just be murdered. And like Tierra Banks, I think she was murdered just sitting in her car. It's like, especially black trans people as a whole are going through so much hate and so much malice, especially with all the bills and leg anti-legislation that was you know, started with our last, you know, president, you know that person's name. But um, I am just so sick and tired of seeing my sisters. And it took me back to that moment because um, the, the women that have been dying, as, as I said before, are somebody's daughter, somebody nieces, somebody cousin, sister. And a black trans woman or a trans woman of color, trans woman, period, or even a trans man, gender non-conforming, non-binary, should simply not be murdered because of who he, she, or they are, okay? Let trans people live. And so that was the thing about me. I had, to take a, I had to take a step back and just recharge myself. But also, it brought me back stronger because it, it, it brought me back to why I started this platform, to bring it to a level to be able to be a voice for black trans women, be a voice for the LGBTQ plus community, be a voice to um, help to protect black women. And that's the thing about it. I myself have been going through so many obstacles of um, hate and drama and, and people coming against me. Um, but I cannot falter because um, right now I'm, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I have a purpose. I have a voice, and that voice is um, is being heard. And one thing I always hear people say is this: when your voice is getting out there good and it's getting heard, obstacles are gonna come against you. But the thing about it is, are are you gonna falter and just fall by the wayside, or are you gonna stand up and keep moving? And the thing about me is, I will continue to stand and keep on moving and fight for Black trans lives, and fight for Black women, and fight for the LGBTQ community. And I don't mind being that voice. I don't mind it. I know I will receive a lot of hate, but this is my purpose to make it better for the next generation that's coming up. So I thank you so much. I thank you for everybody also who donate towards the brand and helping it and trying to help it get better. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And we are going to use our voice. We are going to continue to grind. We're going to continue to grow and be better. Okay, my loves? As I always say, black trans lives matter. Black trans women lives matter. If you're LGBTQI+, love yourself. Protect black women. I love you, my babies. Love you, my loves. Bye.